Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is actually my second time trying to film this video because the last one I just rambled on way too much and it didn't really make sense so I thought I'd give it another go. So today I'm going to be filming a video about weight loss and what I have been doing to lose weight. Um, I know this is a very controversial topic, weight loss and all of that, so like, I don't know, I'm not trying to offend anyone or make anyone feel like bad about themselves, I don't know. But, yes, that, so that's what I'm filming today. So, I'll start from the start. So, I've always like, been pretty lucky where I have never had to try and lose weight, if that makes sense, like I've always been an active person and I've been able to just cont like maintain my weight if that makes sense like I've never really gained weight I've never really lost weight like I just maintained like a good weight until I came to uni <laughs> and I started drinking a lot more and eating out a lot more because obviously it's a lot more social and like cooking my own food gives me like the ability to I don't know decide if I want to eat shit or if I want to eat healthy um, so yeah, that's kind of where I like started gaining weight properly for like the first time in my life. Well like obviously I gained weight like when I grew, like I haven't been like, I don't know, what are you when you're a baby? You're like 4 kgs, like I've definitely gained weight from there. But yeah, I feel like you, I, like, you understand what I mean. I've been able to maintain my weight easily. So yeah, that was all fine, like I was just like going to the gym like all the time and eating like reasonably healthy and then I got sick. If you watched my video, what, where have I been, what's wrong with me or whatever, is that, I think that's what it's called, that I posted like a few weeks ago, you will know that I was sick with glandular fever, well I think it was glandular fever, for three months, um, I think. Yeah, about three months, I think, maybe like two and a half months, but, so for that two and a half months, I couldn't go to the gym, I couldn't exercise, a lot of the days, I couldn't even get out of bed, like, I literally couldn't get out of bed, I, walking to the supermarket was, like, a massive accomplishment, and I was, like, exhausted, like, I had to have a nap when I got home, um, so, yeah, obviously, when you're not doing any exercise, when you're not even like walking around, like I w would like walk around the apartment like to go to the toilet and get food and that was literally all. You are gonna gain a bit of weight. Also because I was not really watching what I ate, I just ate whatever the fuck I wanted pretty much because I felt crappy and eating food makes me feel better because I'm an emotional eater and I love to eat food um, and I'm also a very big eater like I can eat a lot of food which is not ideal <laughs> um, but yeah so I gained and whilst being sick I gained nine kgs which over two and a half three months is pretty quite a lot but I mean oh well it doesn't matter I'm not that faced about it anymore because I was sick, I had to do what I had to do. I'm glad I did, because otherwise I would have, oh, yeah, I would have felt even worse. Um, so that brings me to what I'm going to talk about. So what I've been doing to lose weight over the past two months? Which doesn't sound that long, but it feels like it's been a long time. So first of all, I started off um, just trying to go to the gym like three times a week. Um, because I didn't want to throw myself back into like a full like workout regime of like five days a week and well actually like six days a week I kind of do sometimes now but because I didn't want to wear myself out and I didn't want to get sick again and obviously my body wasn't used to doing exercise because <clears throat> I'd been in bed like every day for like three months so yeah that's what I started with and I started just doing like I do legs on Monday arms on Wednesday and legs on Friday again like I was just doing like one kind of lower body upper body kind of thing and then I do abs every session because I just always do abs and yeah so that was fine so I did that probably for about three weeks and I was just eating really clean like vegetables 
all the time because I'm vegetarian and no gluten no dairy because if you have watched my other videos you know that I'm intolerant to those two things um what else did I do yeah pretty much just eating super clean doing my apple cider vinegar in the morning which I still do um it's just like a little thing that I do to help yeah so but I wasn't really noticing that much of a difference I was so sore like so sore and I mean three weeks isn't the longest time to do exercise and like expect to see a difference but like I literally wasn't seeing any difference like I was still gaining weight <laughs> Um, which didn't really make sense because I was working out. So I decided, first thing I did is I decided to go off the pill, um, the contraceptive pill, which has been really great, apart from obviously having to have my cycle like down to every month, whereas it used to be like every like three months. But hey, that's a lot. It's a small price to pay when I feel so much better. So taking the contraceptive pill for major for a lot of people so it doesn't affect everyone but um it can make you really retain water and obviously that causes like bloating and um stuff like that so and I feel like it can cause like bloating and stuff like that which I'm have a very sensitive stomach like I am obviously intolerant to gluten and dairy so I bloat really easily with foods that I'm intolerant to so majority of the time I'm bloated all the time but when I was on the pill I was literally bloated every day even if I was like cutting out like everything that I was intolerant to I was still getting bloated um and also this rash around my face is can be caused by the contraceptive pill so I decided to go off it and now I'm so much happier so much less bloated my skin is kind of clearing up like it's not going to go away straight away but it's clearing up a lot more um, what else has it done? I don't know, yeah, it just made me happier, it made me more like chirpy and less bloated, which is great. And it's also allowed me to lose weight a lot easier. So I did that, that was the first change I made. And I also changed my workout routine. So instead of doing like designated days for like lower body, upper body, I now do like full body every day which sounds really intense and weird but it's actually not that intense so I made a list which I will insert a photo of here maybe if I can um of pretty much every single exercise that I know and I put them into categories of like legs arms abs and cardio um so now I will all I have to do is choose from that list so I'll choose three leg exercises three arm exercises, three or four ab exercises depending on how like tired I am after the other exercises and then one sort of, like kind of cardio so and then I'll start with the cardio um, as like a warm up and some days I only do like literally five minutes of like a bike just to get myself warmed up and other days I'll do like a 20 minute bike or like I've been really enjoying rowing recently on the rowing machine so I'll do like a really hardcore like row I don't know um so that's my warm-up and then I'll go into doing my exercises and I don't know I feel like this has really helped me because a lot of the exercises I've been doing are also like plyometric exercises which if you don't know what that means it's like body weighted stuff and it's a lot of like jumping like jump squats or like burpees things like that so it really gets your heart rate up and going and makes you sweat a lot more yeah so doing more exercises like that has really helped me personally obviously this is all like my personal experience so this may what I do may not work for you but you know um what else have I been doing I my diet's pretty much stayed the same like I still am just eating a really balanced diet I'm trying um to eat like as many fruit and vegetables as possible and stuff like that still eating carbs because I don't know I just feel like it's not really that necessary to cut them out and yeah but I'm still eating like food that I want to eat like last night me and my flatmate we handed in our final um 
assignments for this six weeks of uni which was really exciting yay and we were like oh let's go celebrate so we went and got a burger from burger fuel and then got some chips and some chocolate and came back and watched a movie which like sounds really boring for a celebration but like when you've been doing like hardcore work for six weeks like you don't really want to go out and like party like I was quite happy to just go home and rest um so yeah I'm not like stopping myself from eating takeaways when like I want to celebrate and have fun because like that's just boring like I don't want to do that I love food I'm not gonna just like eat like the the vegetarian equivalent of broccoli um chicken and rice like no I don't know what that would be just the broccoli and rice I guess um so yeah and I feel like that's really important like keeping your diet balanced and still eating yum food but like in moderation so you're not like completely making yourself miserable because you can't go out with your friends and get pizza or whatever like but just knowing when to not oh my god there's a guy that is staring at me from the window I really don't like this um yeah that like I feel like that's not healthy for you another thing I've recently added into like my diet that I've been doing every day is this little guy here which is by the brand Tropica which is an Australian brand it's all vegan organic wait let me read off the back of the packet it's all organically grown organically grown vegan friendly gluten free dairy free non gmo and soy free and it's called ultra cleanse um Oh my god, that's so cute. It says down the bottom, conquer the day the healthy way. Love that. So it's like a cleansing powder kind of thing. Um, it's got wheatgrass powder, barleygrass powder, bentonite clay, spirulina powder, and stevia leaf extract. So pretty much what I do is I mix two teaspoons of it into some juice. Um, cranberry juice is really nice. Or just like at the moment I'm just having it with orange juice. And I'll just have like one glass of that. So that's like what I'll have after the gym instead of like, sometimes I'll have a protein shake if I'm really hungry, but I don't really love protein shakes and I feel like I don't really need to have them all the time. Um, so I'll have that, like, not gonna lie, it's kind of just like the powder's gross. <laughs> like if you were to have it with water, like I'd probably be sick. My flatmates think it's like literally fucked that I drink it because it smells horrendous but I feel like the best way to have it is mixing it with cranberry juice because like the cranberry juice is quite I know it's got quite a like different I don't know bitter taste to it which works really well with like masking the um taste of the clay the guy in the window is staring at me again that's fun but yeah I'll read you the benefits of it it says a complete full body healthy solution your time to detox refreshes the body to support well-being a source of iron potassium and calcium a source of zinc chromium and copper contributes to normal energy production supports a healthy immune system contains pure bentonite clay and has a five-star health rating that's not really don't really care um about that <laughs> but yeah so i feel like that's been really helping i've only been doing that for like two weeks but it definitely makes like gives me more energy and like makes me feel better and has stopped me from bloating a lot more as well um so yeah I feel like that's pretty much everything I have to say oh I don't know if I said in this but um so so far I have lost 5.2 kgs I think which is quite a lot <laughs> for me but yeah um, so I'm pretty stoked with myself. That was yesterday. I like weighed in and found that out. Um, but yeah. Another thing with weighing myself is that I don't weigh myself like every day. Like I used to. I went through a point in my life where I was literally weighing myself every day and it was so bad for my like mental health. Um, so now I kind of weigh myself like every two weeks and it's more just to like track my progress. Like it's not to put myself down and be like you need to be at this number like it's definitely more just to track my progress and stuff like that but so yeah um another thing i want to say is that 
this video isn't about making people feel sad about themselves because like you shouldn't like I don't know <laughs> I'm so bad at talking about stuff like this but I know I'm all for everyone just loving their body how they are but I do also think it comes to a point like you have to think about how you feel like health wise like that's why I decided okay I need to go to the gym more and I need to lose a bit of weight because for me my mental health I wasn't happy with how my body looked so I was like you know what I'm just gonna make a change and really put in the effort to make a change and also for my physical health like I didn't have as much energy I was like tired all the time whereas now I feel like I've got so much more energy and I'm just so much happier so yeah I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing and I don't know if anyone's even gonna care about this video to be honest but I thought I'd make it because some people might care yeah <laughs> okay um thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already i hate saying that because i feel like it makes me sound so like i don't know weird but yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys